So why would someone tune a combine? Uh, there's a couple of different primary reasons. <clears throat> First of all, uh, when someone gets a new machine, there was kind of a switch in some of these manufacturers from one model year to the next, some emissions being added on, those types of things where guys just really felt like their new model, even though it was supposed to have more power or at least similar power, seemed to be bogged down and didn't perform as well. We tune a lot of combines for that particular reason. One of the bigger reasons though, in our area has to do with soybeans. Soybean yields have been growing every year. The crop has been great. The plants are bigger. Uh, either we're harvesting earlier or the plants aren't getting to maturity, maturity early enough. So they're green stemmed and they just take a lot of power uh, to eat them up. Soybean harvest in particular, I would say is probably the number one reason why we tune a lot of combines. Um, combined with that, uh, one other thing that tends to happen is, is guys will keep the same combine, but get a new head and it's a larger head, uh, or they'll go to a larger draper head as an example. Now, while those heads are much more efficient and can get more work done, uh, they just flat out require more power. So when an operator is used to running a machine at a certain speed, uh, you know, at a certain rate and they add a bigger head and now all of a sudden they're drawn down and they're getting low RPM readings and so on and so forth. The tune is what really gets them over the hump.